uh, in our current view it's not immediately clear how it all corresponds like this selection how it all corresponds to the master uh, boot record uh, partition table right here right um, and then um, how it all translates to like every entry how it all translates to these fields right here unless of course you want to uh, compute offsets of individual fields somewhere here um, and make a selection and use hex value interpreter um, and to make sure that you select all the proper bytes so this is not a very easy exercise uh, and uh, fortunately there is a way to uh, visualize the content of the uh, partition table and for this i would like to uh, switch over open um, uh, this image in win hex all right so this is win hex and of course this is the location of my uh, image uh, b parker point uh, zero zero one so I'm just going to say file open. Okay, so we start with file open and I'll just uh, paste the location of my directory. I hit enter and pick this and click open. And after opening, nothing special happens. We just open our uh, file, uh, the image file in this raw uh, hexadecimal editor view. Uh, but uh, first let's verify the md5 hash value here as well just to demonstrate how you would do it here so you can go to tools and then say compute hash okay and here you can pick up which one you like so we'll just say pick up md5 and uh, click ok so this goes ahead and does similar uh, verification just as we tried in our um, FTK imager. So I switch here uh, to actually to my notes, right? And so you can see that it's the same 91B8 and uh, C6BE. Uh, so everything looks good. But this is how you would uh, verify this in WinHex. So basically just open the file, click tools, and select uh, compute hash okay and uh, you can press ctrl c over here and basically copy it to anywhere else like this copy and paste and uh, so you can match it pretty clearly here and you can also uh, put this in your forensic reports so our result of course matches the acquisition hash and uh, likewise uh, you can go back and uh, compute hash and select other types for instance uh, SHA-1 secure hash algorithm 1 and SHA-256 my next step is click specialist uh, menu and select interpret image file as disk Okay, so specialist is our WinHex license here. So this is a separate step, uh, step to begin analyzing the data structures on this uh, disk image in WinHex. And uh, we get uh, very similar results here uh, to uh, an FTK imager view. Above um, is the directory view and it says uh, uh, partitioning style MBR. Uh, by the way, alternative partition style is GPT, and the GPT stands for GUID Partition Table. GUID means Global Unique Identifier, and uh, GPT, as opposed to MBR, is the new partition standard and is gradually replacing the MBR. Uh, normally, you can explore GPT on a system using Disk Management Windows app, and uh, the MBR is a special boot sector uh, located at the beginning of a drive. So, of course, MBR disks only support partition sizes up to 2 terabytes. So, an alternative one, the GPT partition volumes, uh, uh, must be used to create NTFS volumes, uh, volumes uh, larger than 2 terabytes. So, GPT partitions require a 64-bit hardware. So, Again, just like um, in uh, FTK Imager, 
ha here we have uh, two partitions and notice that the second uh, partition icon is slightly grayed out indicating that this uh, partition was deleted by the user and now is recovered by WinHex. We also have here um, the specification of the partition types. Here in, in WinHex so we can click view and show and uh, the directory browser is what we already see here but this is how you would display it if it's hidden uh, from the view so we have the uh, directory browser uh, details uh, panel uh, and uh, right here this is the details panel and this is of course the hexadecimal uh, byte view so this uh, section right here, the details panel, is uh, similar to the properties panel in FTK Imager. Um, in hex uh, text panel, we have a down arrow right here. So this allows us to jump to the first sector mm, of uh, each partition. Right, so basically just like we can uh, jump to the uh, boot sector uh, right here and we can also uh, display partition table. And this information also is coming from the partition table. Uh, so we can say here, for instance, partition 1, uh, boot sector. And uh, down here we see that this is sector 63. So we ju just jump to the first sector of our NTFS partition. And this is the boot sector of the NTFS partition. But uh, let's uh, just uh, uh, go back to um, uh, the beginning uh, of our drive and uh, uh, we can just go back to the partition table which is uh, at the offset zero of, uh, of our drive. Uh, remember this view is not a file system view. This is really uh, we're working at the partition uh, level and you can always check the sector uh, number. So this is sector zero. And while uh, we are uh, selecting uh, this um, uh, first sector on the drive, we can go to view uh, template manager uh, like this. And now we can select uh, master boot record. Uh, so here, this is the one of the templates that is available uh, for us to use. And we click apply. So this brings up this uh, uh, little uh, display uh, which um, contain, uh, contains uh, the first partition table entry uh, right here and followed by the second partition entry and the third and the fourth partition entry. So you can see this uh, now can be mapped pretty easily to our um, uh, structure right here of our uh, partition entry inside the NBR. So this is really just like these um, uh, individual offsets here are shown and uh, you can see the actual entries in, uh, in our first uh, partition. Um, and uh, that corresponds, of course, to this NTFS partition. Um, and uh, you see here that partition type uh, type indicator is 07. So 07 corresponds to NTFS. So 07, of course, is the same decimal and hexadecimal. So I can copy it uh, from here because we have now this information. And uh, this would be our next uh, uh, challenge after switching to WinHex uh, for this hard drive. And we can copy and paste this information. Uh, director here uh, and this is our answer uh, to question number 17 that this is an NTFS partition.